Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Davis. I'm a software engineer at the Wikimedia Foundation, working on the technical engagement team. My preferred pronouns are he and him. <clears throat> I'm here today to talk to you about the Tool Hub project that Sristi Sethi and I have been working on for the last year. Folks should leave the session with a general understanding of where the idea for Tool Hub came from, how it builds on past innovations from the technical community, and what core features it provides. There's a rich ecosystem of tools built by volunteers and staff to help fill in workflow gaps in the Wikimedia movement. There are thousands of bots, user scripts, web services, gadgets, desktop apps, and phone apps out there. Maybe even one that makes the exact thing you are trying to do easier. But how do you find them? This is a problem that individuals and projects within the community have struggled with for years. There are many, many lists of tools on wiki pages across the movement. There are also lists and spreadsheets, mailing list messages, chat archives, and very likely even physical paper sitting on someone's desk. These lists are great, and I think they could be even better with some help. The Wikitech L discussion that the poll quote on the previous slide was taken from inspired volunteer Recordy Samoa to create a fabricator task that collected links to existing partial solutions. I discovered this task in early 2016 while researching ways to help the volunteer developers working in what we now call Toolforge. I think it was and still is a brilliant idea and a thing that many, many people have asked for over the years. Tool hubs are attempt at, at solving this, this ticket. Our initial release of Tool Hub is focused on the set of goals on this slide. We're working towards a core product that makes collecting and reusing information about tools as open as we can. Rather than yet another one-time list of tools, we want a platform that makes it possible to extend and remix the catalog. Critical to this openness is our API first design. A web API is a fancy way of saying that a web application has features that can be used by other software rather than just by humans. And in our case, Wikimedia volunteers should be able to build tools that interact with the data stored in Tool Hub in many ways. Personas are a tool that, that's used in user experience design to help us think about who will be using the software and why. So I would like to quickly walk through a, a set of personas that we've been using when we think about designing Tool Hub. Um, our core personas include editors, developers, researchers, movement organizers, and readers. I'd now like to quickly show you some screenshots taken to the Tool Hub demo server, give you an idea of what the screens allow you to do. This shot is of the home page, which gives access to Tool Hub's full text search feature. It also displays featured lists of tools, which have been curated by the community. Both the search results and lists <clears throat> will show info cards providing summary information about tools. Lists have detail pages, which also allow you to share deep links to them from outside of Tool Hub. Each tool info card links to a more detailed page listing all the information that Tool Hub has about the tool, including links to the tool itself and, if available, links to source code, bug trackers, etc. Tool records have a history view similar to Wiki pages, where you can see what has changed over time and who made the pages changes. When you're using search, users can search through tools and refine those searches by selecting common values from the match documents. These facets are a sort of search navigation that you've probably seen on e-commerce sites, where a list of departments or sizes or colors is shown along with the results. And you can click them to add that attribute and value to the search constraints. Users can create new tool info records using the add or remove tools screen. 
Tool maintainers can also submit URLs to JSON files, which use the tool info schema to describe their tools. This is similar to the process used for the existing Hayes directory product. Tool Hub will periodically visit these URLs, read the tool records from them, and update the catalog. We have a crawler history screen, which displays analytic information about past runs of the URL crawler. On this screen, details of errors in reading a URL or parsing its tool inf info content can be viewed for each crawler run. Audit logs screen keeps track of actions taken on Tool Hub. Things like when a user joined, when the tool was added, when something was removed, etc. You can think of this as a combination of special recent changes and special log on a media wiki wiki. Tool Hub has a web API, which implements all the features needed to power its integrated user interface. And there's nice documentation available for viewing on the platform itself. Our API requires that any create, update, and delete actions be made by an authenticated user. We've chosen not to allow anonymous edits. <clears throat> Toolhub provides its own OAuth service to allow you to register a tool that needs to authenticate users so that they can change content via the API. Currently, only confidential Webflow clients, which is a really obscure OAuth detail, are supported by the server. Uh, members page lists all current members and the groups that they are in. Members of the bureaucrats group can also use this page to add or remove users from other groups. You can think of this like special list users on a wiki. Lists of tools are possible to create from the your, your lists page. Editing and deleting lists is currently available via the API, but we've not built user interface for these actions quite yet. So help make us help us make this awesome. Um, hopefully you've heard something in this presentation that gets you a little bit excited about Tool Hub. We'd love to have any and all of you join us in making the project a success the movement deserves. You can play with our demo server, help translate the user interface, and report bugs and feature ideas via Fabricator. You can also follow our progress each week on MetaWiki and I hope you all stay tuned for more direct calls for help as we near our launch date. All right. So I'd, I'd like to thank Shristi Sethi for helping me prepare this presentation. And uh, these slides will end up posted on Commons, uh, certainly before the end of the Wikimania, possibly before the end of the day today. And uh, we have additional sessions in the unconference track for anyone that is interested in further deep dive discussions about Tool Hub. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>